नमस्कार मैं सर डॉक्टर रश्मि सिंह टूडेज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन इन प्रो कैरियर्स एंड न्यू कैरियर्स हाई ओवर द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन प्रोसेस ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन इन प्रो कैरियर्स एंड न्यू कैरियर्स आर सिमिलर बट समटाइम द एंजाइम्स इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रोसेस यूज बाय प्रो कैरियर्स एंड न्यू कैरियर्स आर somehow different so try to learn what are the differences and what are the steps involved in dna replication the replication of dna occurs only at a specific period of time in a cell the period when dna replication occur is s phase known as synthetic phase this synthetic phase in cell cycle is differentiated by two phases g1 and g2 phases g1 phase is known as gap phase that occur just prior to the synthetic phase and g2 is the gap phase another gap phase that occur just after the end of the synthetic phase these two phases differentiate the mitotic phase and synthetic phase from each other so that in synthetic phase the dna replication occur and in mitotic period the dna and uh, the dna arrange according to the process in cell the replication of dna takes place through semi conservative mode it is known as semi conservative as only one parental strand is conserved in the process and another strand is newly formed the first step in the dna replication is the initiation of replication that is start with the recognition of site at which site the dna start to replicate and this replication in prokaryote where the dna in the form of circular double stranded dna it occur at a single point of origin that is known as auric c but in prokaryotes the replication takes place simultaneously at number of replication points when the replication begins it occur in two opposite direction from the point of origin therefore two replication ports are formed starting from the point of origin the start point for the replication of dna is recognized by a protein factor that is known as dna a in the second step there is the formation of fork that is after recognition of the replication point we have to make dna unwind if you recall the structure of dna it is just like a rope as the rope has a twist and turns likewise dna double helical structure also have a twist and turn so the first process is to remove this twist present in double helical dna model these twist are removed are removed by the enzyme known as dna gyrase or topo isomerase as the twisting is we untwist the dna the two strands have to separate by an enzyme known as helicase that break the hydrogen bond between them so the two strands get separated from each other remember untwisting is another thing that is done by the enzyme topoisomerase or dna gyrase 
and the breaking of hydrogen bond is done by another enzyme that is known as helicase the function of gyrase is to untwist the dna double helix but dna helicase has function to separate the two strands further moving we have to stabilize these strands once we untwist or unwind the rope unwind the rope if we leave them as such the rope has again gained the coiling conformation so to check this coiling again there is single stranded dna binding protein in short form ssbb that bind to each separate strand of dna their work is to prevent the two strands from coming together into base pairing again so that the structure is now stabilized and exposed for the replication system after that there is polymerization of nucleotide in this step the replication of dna in this step the replication of dna is done by a complex of 20 or more replicative enzymes and factors they are together called as dna replicase or replicosome korenberg and his colleagues have identified the dna replicating enzymes in escherichia coli you are uh, know that we have three type of dna polymerase dna polymerase first second and third they can add and deoxyribonucleotide to pre existing dna chain in 5 prime to 3 prime direction remember that 5 prime in have phosphate group and 3 prime in have hydroxyl group that provide the free nucleus for the addition of any nucleotides so the chain elongation initiation process occur always in 5 prime to 3 prime direction the most important role in this process is placed by dna polymerase third this is the enzyme mainly responsible for dna chain elongation it function in the form of a large complex and is called dna polymerase third hollow enzymes it contains zinc ion and for its activity it requires magnesium ion it also requires a dna template and a primer rna strand for its activity have a look on the structure of dna polymerase third that have so many subunits its important subunit is a beta subunit that recognizes the replication fork and bind this structure this dna polymerase third at the initiation point and after that this beta subunit remove from the hollow enzyme in its pre form for performing or uh, capturing another uh, dna polymerase uh, hollow enzyme to the next initiation point so as soon as the dna polymerase third bind at the initiation point now the turn is for elongation elongation of the daughter dna strand is carried out in two in two direction at one parental strain which is in 5 prime to 3 prime direction the dna polymerase third and deoxyribonucleotide in a continuous manner so that it is known as leading strand but at 
another parental strand this chain initiation occur in a small fragment with the help of rna primer in so there are many small fragments about 1000 to 2000 nucleotide long they are called as okajaki fragments and they form lagging strand because there is the formation of chain in lag pieces so it is known as lagging strand initiation of the dna synthesis either form the leading strand or for the synthesis of okajaki fragments there is need of primer the primer strand are about 50 to 100 nucleotide long they are made in 5 prime to 3 prime direction by an enzyme called primase dna polymerase third add deoxyribonucleotide to these primers successively from the 3 prime end complementary to the template dna strand at leading strand the process is continuous so there is only one rna primer strand needed in the at the initiation initiative leader level but at lagging strand there is several fragment of rna primer plus deoxyribonucleotide rna primer plus deoxyribonucleotide so there is many pieces so now the work is that to remove these rna strands and join the nick of the two deoxyribonucleotides that is uh, complementary to the uh, parental strand so rna primers are removed by the enzyme dna polymerase 1 nucleotide by nucleotide due to its 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity in your biotechnology you have uh, studied that the exonuclease are those enzyme that can cut external phosphodiester bond as each ribonucleotide unit is removed it is replaced with complementary deoxyribonucleotide unit by the same dna polymerase first enzyme now the time is to join the join the nick of the two deo uh, nick of the two deoxyribonucleotide units and this action is performed by dna ligases this action require energy which is supplied by the hydrolysis of atp to adenosine monophosphate and the pyrophosphate dna ligase uh, functions very effectively when the two dna fragment to be spliced are completely base paired with the complementary template dna strand as the replicase enzyme system complete each splice in the lagging strand it moves along the dna being replicated the two new strands together with the base paired parental template strand form two dotted duplex automatically this figure shows the combined steps first you can see that how the topo isomerase untwist the dna double helical structure and dna helicase work to break the hydrogen bond after that single stranded binding protein sbp bind to each parental strand to stabilize the structure so that they never come close together and bind again after the the work is time for uh, dna polymerase third that is a complex enzyme it add nucleotide in 5 prime to 3 prime direction continuously and another strand discontinuously so one is the leading strand and another is the lagging strand 
at the lagging strain there is addition of rna primers with the help of enzyme primase so okazaki fragments are formed and after that dna polymerase first with its exonucleus activity remove the rna primers and now the two nicks are joined together by the enzyme dna ligase these are the representation of various steps in detail in the first there is the recognition of the origin by rna polymerase that is the dna a protein that recognize initiation point after that unwinding unwinding then uh, binding of single stranded binding protein formation of leading and leading lagging strands and after that filling of gaps by dna polymerase first and sealing by dna ligase so at the last in elongation step i have told you that more than 20 enzymes participate that are com that are collectively known as dna replicase or replicosome sometime the question asked to uh, write a note on a replicosome it involve not only the activity of dna polymerase third but also the activity of dna polymerase first primase as well as dna ligase so prepare accordingly the notes on the dna replicase or replicosome now i expect that uh, you have understand the different steps very clearly and have if have any doubt then please mail me at my mail id rashmi kenpg at the rate gmail dot com. Thank you.